Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a AOS network node. So this is not a Ponzi nomic node. This is a real node on a real network providing real services. You don't need to stake anything to get started and your only upfront cost is the hardware that you're gonna run this node on. Now keep that in mind because you're not gonna be making a ton of cash, but it is a new project with a new service that's coming out right now and has a lot of potential to grow. So let's take a quick overview of the project and see what AOS is trying to accomplish. Now I'm covering this because they just transitioned from their testnet node to their mainnet on February 15, 2022. So it's just a little over a month right now, and this is when things start to get interesting. What AOS is, is a decentralized content delivery network, and they want to power a new era of a media ecosystem that can deliver audio, video, live streaming, and gaming on this distributed network of user-run nodes. It is a layer one blockchain built on the Cosmos ecosystem, and the nodes can be installed on multiple platforms, which is Windows, Mac, and Linux, and I'm going to be doing the Windows version. Because of the huge cost savings when you run a peer-to-peer -peer hosting network, they can provide their services significantly cheaper, which should attract developers. A couple other things to mention is they have low transaction fees, a one-click migration for dApps, EVM and WASM smart contracts, and infinite horizontal scalability. The goal is to become a leader in delivering media applications from the blockchain. So AOS has launched something called AOS Tube as an example to demonstrate their ability of this network. And let's just take a quick peek at that right now. Now it's using WebRTC, which is a open source protocol that allows streaming to happen in real time over the internet. So it's a useful protocol. It looks like that's what they're relying on to broadcast and stream the services. And all the videos are stored on different nodes around the world, like the one that we're about to install. And you can see that the setup for itself is very similar to YouTube with the categories and everything on the side. Most of the videos that have been uploaded on here do get broadcasted at 1080p. I wouldn't actually call this competition to YouTube. It's got a long way to go if that's what they're trying to do here. It definitely shows that the network capabilities isn't just talk, it works and you can go to the website right now and check it out for yourself. They have over 36,000 nodes that are online around the world, which is quite a few, and they're looking to expand that aggressively. And that's what we're about to take a look at. So how about we take a look at starting this up and getting it installed? All right, so I'm gonna open up my browser here and here is the iOS network homepage and we're gonna be installing the node today. So I'm gonna go over here to the menu and click on the node app. And it's a pretty simple download. They have uh, download options for Windows, Mac, and Linux. We're gonna be doing the Windows version. I'm on a Windows 10 PC. So I'm gonna click on the download node app. There we go. So it's 88.8 .8 megs in size. And we'll let that download in just a moment. Okay, so that has completed. It's gonna go into my downloads folder here and minimize the browser and go into my downloads folder. And here's the setup file. So I'm just gonna double click on that and open it up and it's gonna go ahead with the installation. All right, so the first thing it's asking me to do is set up a password. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so now that I have the password entered in here, I'm gonna click on create and it's asking me to download a copy of my private key. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the download option over here. I'm gonna save it. Uh, I'll save it in my downloads folder for now. So that's the option for me to see it by clicking on this option over here. Okay, and once you have that all recorded down in a safe place, we're gonna move on to the next step. So we can click on confirm and finish. And all right, so we're gonna put back in the private key right now. And I'm gonna paste it in. And then now what I can do is confirm. And it's gonna log into the network. And there we go, we're up and running. It's gonna take a little bit right now because it's gonna to have to download the blockchain. So we have the node up and running. I'm gonna be leaving this running all the time. You just have to minimize it. If you leave it minimize, it's gonna just go down to your taskbar at the bottom and you can leave it up and running. For a node to be profitable, you wanna have it running all the time. Let's take a look at the dashboard right now and see what our options are. If you are gonna be taking it offline, you have the option over here to pause it and it brings you back offline and you can go ahead and click back on start. Let's just get it up and running. You don't really want to do that if you're actually running a node. You want this to be running all the time. Over here on the right-hand side, we have the profile information uh, where you can log out as the user that you're logged in with. And here is the balance. So we haven't earned anything yet because we just had it set up, uh, but it would disclose our balance right over here. And then you have the option to withdraw to whatever address that you have. You enter in the wallet address, the amount, and then you put in your password, the password that you use to set up this node. Now over here on the right hand side, so right over here we have the delivery and it's gonna let you know how much bandwidth usage it's using. Uh, then we have the storage. Now the storage is gonna be meaningful because this is how much storage you're allowing to the size. So I have just under 500 gigs right now uh, that I'm allotted to it. If I click on the folder and say I have a different drive on my computer that I wanna assign it to, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, it's best to do that immediately uh, because that's where everything is gonna be saved and over a period of time that is just gonna increase. So it's advisable to do that 
that at first. Uh, I'm not doing anything. I'm going to leave it the way it is because this is kind of like a test setup right now. So I'm going to cancel it and just leave it in the default folder. And down here at the bottom, you have transcoding. It's going to be using your GPU or CPU to do transcoding off the PC as part of the network. And that's what you're going to get paid for as well. So that'll be over here on the right hand side. So I really don't know how much I'm going to earn by running this node on my computer at home. I'll let, keep you posted. I'll do maybe a six month update to just give you a general idea of how long it works over a period of time and if it's worth it. The concept is interesting. Will it be a YouTube killer? I'm not really sure about that. But overall, it does seem like a very interesting project. So that's why I installed it and that's why I'm hosting it. So we have the node up and running. It's installed and that's all there is to it. You can just minimize this and keep this out of your way if you plan on using this computer. I have a dedicated computer where I just run nodes and I test stuff out. So so this one is just up and running and it's connected to a switch on my network and I'm going to leave it the way it is. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Still learning about the project and I'll update you as I go further along. Please subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more updates on this project or other installations of notes that I'm doing. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.